When the blast from the eruption of Mount Vesuvius reached Herculaneum in AD 79, it burned hundreds of ancient scrolls to a crisp in the library of a luxury villa, and buried the Roman town in ash and pumice. The disaster appeared to have destroyed the scrolls for good, but nearly 2,000 years later researchers have extracted the first word from one of the texts, using artificial intelligence to peer deep inside the delicate charred remains. The discovery was announced by computer scientists at the University of Kentucky, and others who launched the Vesuvius Challenge in March to accelerate the reading of the texts. Backed by Silicon Valley investors, the challenge offers cash prizes to researchers who extract legible words from the carbonized scrolls. To launch the Vesuvius Challenge, the team released thousands of 3D X-ray images of two rolled-up scrolls and three papyrus fragments. They also released an artificial intelligence program they had trained to read letters in the scrolls based on subtle changes that the ancient ink made to the structure of the papyrus. The unopened scrolls belong to a collection held by the Institut de France in Paris and are among hundreds recovered from the library at the villa thought to be owned by a senior Roman statesman, possibly Lucius Calpurnius Piso Caesoninus, the father-in-law of Julius Caesar. Two computer science students Luke Farriter in Nebraska and Yusef Nader in Berlin who took up the Vesuvius challenge improved the search process and independently hit on the same ancient Greek word in one of the scrolls, porphyrus C, meaning purple. Farriter, who was first to find the word wins $40,000 with Nader winning $10,000. The race is now on to read the surrounding text. The researchers say that three lines of the scroll containing up to 10 letters are now readable with more expected to come. A recent section shows at least four columns of text. The word purple from the text may not seem very exciting but it is actually very significant. Purple was a rare and expensive dye in ancient times associated with royalty, wealth and even mockery. The word could be part of a discussion on natural history as Pliny the Elder did in his work on Tyrian purple from shellfish. Or it could be part of a religious commentary as Mark's Gospel describes how Jesus was mocked as he was clothed in purple robes before crucifixion. The context of the word is still unknown but the researchers hope to reveal more soon. This is an amazing achievement that could revolutionize our understanding of ancient literature and culture. As the only intact library to survive from antiquity, there is immense interest in the Herculaneum scrolls. Most of the texts analyzed so far are written in ancient Greek, but some may be Latin texts. Fragments have revealed works by Philodemus on vices and virtues, and details of Hellenistic dynastic history. Who knows what other treasures are waiting to be discovered in these scrolls? Thanks to artificial intelligence and 3D X-ray imaging, we may soon be able to read these unopened books and learn more about the ancient world that was lost in the eruption of Mount Vesuvius.